Hi everyone, today I'd like to tell you about how leadership and example is such a huge part of building the culture in martial arts training. Hi everyone, as many of you know, we've been open here in the suburbs of Chicago for almost five months now. Besides the technical advancement and quality of our students, a big conversation topic among our staff is how to build the appropriate and positive culture and respect in our school. Of course, as the owners and instructors, we have a lot to do with this in the way that we teach our classes and interact with our students and families. But I think what a lot of people don't realize right off the bat is how much the students in the school affect the culture and structure of the way things work. When we first opened our doors, everyone was a beginner. A few months later, now we're starting to see the spread of the different belt levels and the belt hierarchy start to exist. The students who find themselves at the top of this structure, or even just ahead of someone else, have a huge responsibility to what we call their junior belts, people who are at a lower level than they currently are. Students always try to listen and follow the directions from their instructors, but Let's not lose sight of the fact that they're always looking to the example of older or more senior students. That means the yellow belts have a responsibility to the white belts, the green belts have a responsibility to the yellow belts, and so on up through the different belt levels. Whatever level is higher than the others needs to set a great example and show the way that things are done for those in the, the belt levels below them. For school-age kids, you hear all the time about setting a good example and being a great role model. This is super, super true in martial arts training as well. For teens and adults, the way that they interact with each other, help one another, and even help each other learn the material is a huge part of building the structure and environment in our classes. The great part about being a leader and a role model in martial arts is that everyone will have a chance to do it. As a student moves up through the levels, by default, there will always be somebody above them and somebody below them. While following the example and the guidance of somebody who's a higher level than you, don't forget that you've got the responsibility to give that same example and guidance to those who are coming up through the ranks behind you. Hopefully that's a helpful thought for everyone. As always, don't forget to click down below and subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and ring the alert bell so you don't miss any videos from us here at World Class Taekwondo. If you know anyone that you think would find this video informative or helpful, feel free to share it. We'll see you very soon here on the World Class Taekwondo channel.